students, I am Professor Maja, the teaching practice TPN 3704 module, module lecturer. I would like to welcome you to the 2024 academic year. I hope you relaxed, you are ready and to embark on the journey with enthusiasm so that you can complete your teaching practice qualification. This module is for the intermediate phase, grades four to six, not for senior phase. Uh, I've sent several assessment announcements that you have to ignore the assi assessment one in the official letter, in the official study material site. Do the one in the assessment shell. Read the general information before you attempt any assessment. Note that assessment one and two contribute uh, to 20%. And assessment 50, which is a portfolio, contributes to 80% to your, or towards your final mark. Then the due dates for these assessments are as follows. Assign, assignment one or assessment one is the 14th of May. Assessment two is the 27th of June. And assessment 50, which is a portfolio, uh, the due date is on the 18th September. You are expected to be at school for 25 days. And then during these days, you need to teach 25 lessons. And then from 25 lessons, you need to submit six lessons of three different subjects you have taught. And then if you, uh, you, you find that you are absent from school, you need to replace that day. Uh, so that you can have fully 25 days, the subject to teach. You need to select from home or first additional language. Do not teach both languages. If you choose home language, stick to home language, and from home language, you need to teach two topics with different uh, uh, two lessons with different topics. If you teach first additional language, you also need to teach two lessons with two different topics. And for first chosen school subject, you need to choose from the following subjects. You need to choose from mathematics, social, social sciences, and remember that social sciences is history and geography. So if you choose geography, stick to geography and teach two uh, lessons with different topics uh, from geography. Don't mix geography with history. And natural science and technology, yes, you can do two lessons for natural sciences or two lessons for technology, you are allowed to do that, but they should be uh, with different topics. And then from life skills, remember that uh, life skills consist of creative arts, physical education, personal and social well-being. Under life skills, you can choose physical education, then teach two lessons with two different uh, topics. And then because grade seven is in the primary schools, you are allowed to teach only EMS in grade seven. And then you follow the same criteria you have uh, done with the other subject with the EMS. There are three declaration forms in this portfolio. You need to sign this uh, three uh, declaration forms by yourself. And the mentor teacher, the school principal, and the school stem should be there. If the school principal is committed, the HOD or the deputy principal or who is anyone who is who's in charge can assist in this uh, uh, in this role. Remember that your portfolio will not be mark, marked without these declaration forms. 
If they are not there, it shows that you were not at school for teaching practice. Uh, the integration of ICT in teaching. Uh, remember that you are teaching the third millennium, millennium uh, learners and of the 21st century. So it is important to integrate technology in your lessons. So you need to demonstrate on how will you integrate the ICT in your lessons. It is part of the question in the portfolio. Uh, the structure of the lesson, you need to fill in the general information, complete all the information in the space provided. For example, when you teach, you need to have an A. So you need to state the, exactly what you want to teach. For example, let's say you want to teach English, the, the, the tenses, the present tense. So your, your aim will go like this. Aim is to teach learners the present tense so that they can be able to use the correct verb uh, tenses in the sentence. That is a very clear aim. And from the aim, you, uh, you can derive the objectives. Yes, of course, the objective should emanate from the, uh, from the aim. Then your objectives, you start them like this. Learners will be able to use the correct verb tenses in sentences. And then remember that you can have even more objectives for one lesson, but the aim will be only one. And the teaching methods. If you can check in the general information, in those notes, there are types of, uh, of teaching methods explained. So you need to write down the teaching methods you will use during the lesson. And then your teaching methods must suit your aim. For example, during the teaching, you, have, you will use the group work, the storytelling, the role play, question and answer, individual seat work. You, sometimes you won't use all of them, but you need to use different methods or uh, yes, techniques to bring the, the teaching. And then you need to explain why you chose this method. Do not ignore, ignore this question because it is very important and is carrying some marks. During the introduction, introductory phase, you will get the learners ready for what you want them to learn. And for example, you want your learners to tell a story about uh, doing shopping on Saturday. And then your aim is to teach the present tense. You need to prepare for the lesson by having teaching aids ready. And then during the lesson, you need to engage learners in real life activities by demonstrating how they do shopping, not only by questions and answers. For example, you need to give questions, how long will this activity take and which questions uh, will you ask? The main part of the lesson. For your activity one, you need to write how long will it take. For example, what you can do, you can write the verbs in the present tense that describe shopping. For example, verbs like buy, pay, take, put, etc. Or show them a YouTube video. This is the part of integration of technology in your, in your teaching. Divide learners into groups or pairs and let them discuss how they do this and encourage them to use the present tense while they are demonstrating that. And then uh, write down the questions, guiding questions that you will ask during the lesson or during that activity. And then while you are doing that, tell me what will the learners be doing? And then activity two, you also have to tell how long will this activity take? Let learners tell their stories about how they do their shopping to their, you know, their peers in the classroom. Let them role play, play their, their shopping. And then tell me which questions will you ask to assess their language usage. And then also this side, you need to tell while you are doing this, what will the learners be doing during that time? Again, activity three is still within that hour or within that period. 
and then you need to tell how long will this activity take. Let the learners work in pairs, for example, to build sentences using the present tense, answer the questions during that time, and then tell me which questions will you ask, and then what will the learners be doing. In conclusion, you will like to summarize the lesson. Let's say maybe you just give a quick quiz or maybe a very brief class discussion. And then, or maybe you let learners to ask each other questions. And you need also to tell how long will this activity take? And then which questions uh, you will ask the learners? And then what will the learners be doing during the time? Assessment activity. Uh, remember that during the lesson you have been teaching using your own teaching methods. Now you want to give the learners an activity. And then in that activity, you need to explain and include or attach the activity. There is a space where you can write the activities that you have given to learners. But if it is not enough, may you please attach that activity separately. And then you need to tell how will you know if the aim and objectives of the le le lesson were achieved. This is very much important. You cannot teach a lesson uh, without achieving the objectives. And how are you going to see whether the objectives have been achieved? And then is this activity an informal or formal assessment? You also need to indicate that. Homework. Write down or attach the homework that you will give for this lesson if it is necessary to give a homework. And then you also uh, need to write why are you allocating this homework? There is a reason. You cannot just give a homework. And then how long will it take the learners to complete it at all? Don't just give a lengthy homework that it will even bore the learners. Will they need any resources or help? You need to indicate that. Enrichment. Remember that in the classroom, you've got diverse learners. These learners, their learning abilities are not the same. So you need to cater their needs. There are fast learners and the media cars, and even those who are really very slow, you need to take into account for this. And then tell me, how can you cater for learners who need enrichment? Those are fast, the fast learners. They are quick to, to finish their work. And then what about these slow learners? What about those who have barriers to learning? They've got barriers, to, different kinds of barriers to learning. Tell me, how are you going to cater for those? Then there are key ways that you use. They are very much important during the lesson. Then you need to write them uh, in the illustration that I've given, and then you need to emphasize them during the, your lesson because they are the key words. And then you need to make sure that uh, the learners understand those words. Maybe you can use your, uh, the dictionary to look for the meaning of the, uh, they let them to look for the meaning of the words in the dictionary. And then attach the teaching aids you sent, you use during the lesson for learners to understand your lesson. Please do not attach activities. I don't want activities. If I can find that you have attached the activities in the teaching aid space, you are going to get zero for that. Because they are the, the, the instructions are very clear. It says teaching aids, not activities. And do not attach the textbook covers. Textbook cover doesn't say anything. It's not an, a, a teaching aid. Uh, assessment of lesson presentation. Remember that during the, uh, your teaching, your mentor teacher will be with you. She is there to assist you and even to evaluate your lesson. Let her evaluate your lesson, grade you, and add comments and signature, and even the school stamp to show that you are really you are really at school doing your teaching practice. And then after each two lessons, there will be reflective self-assessment. May you please answer all the reflect questions and do not write not applicable. You, 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 need, you need to take a note of the, uh, the marks for each reflective 
self-assessment. And then there is observation of school activities. When you are at school, you need to observe what is happening at school. You need to observe and comment on the following aspects. Disciplinary protocol, how is it followed at school? Are there any extramural activities? Which extramural activities are happening there? What is happening? What is the vision of the school? The mission of this school? How is the class environment and how are the line learners diverse? The diversity of learners there. Just tell me briefly. And then from there, may you please attach two, uh, two books of learners. Don't put a lot of photographs because they are going to make your portfolio too large and at our side, it will reject, uh, be rejected by the system. So it, it will need repair and it's going to take time. So please just put only two photographs of learners and avoid a lot of photographs in your, in your portfolio. They are unnecessary. You're not even going to get marks for that. But do not show faces of the learners. And then indicate the policies that are in place at school and how is the staff meeting is conducted. And then I want you to tell me the management, your management during the teaching practice. You need to take a, a responsibility and manage whatever is uh, you are supposed to do during the teaching practice. Explain how you organize your teaching file. That is part of your management and describe how you manage and control a class during your teaching practice or during your lesson. Explain how you would conduct the school assembly. If you were given the chance to do so and name the extramural activity, you may, you may manage and explain how you would manage it. Explain how you handle or you will handle the bullies in your classroom. There are bullies everywhere. These bullies are also like any learners. They've got the rights to be in the class. You must just have them have management skill to manage these bullies. The school documents. These documents, sometimes you will find that you don't understand them, but I am expecting you to understand them because you are already in the fourth level. So you have been going through this uh, uh, documents since from level one up to now. Annual teaching plan, may you please explain that or discuss that. What is the program of assessment, learners attendance register, and then summary register, asset register, curriculum and assessment policy document, the very important document, and the period register and teachers uh, attendance register. Reflection on your teaching practice and UNISA supervision report. You need to answer all open-ended questions to the best of your ability. Please give as much information as possible. Dear students, this year you will be supervised and will come supervise you. After the supervision, you need to synchronize the, the, the assessment form after the Supervision uh, report has been provided to you, to you by the UNISA supervisor. And then attach it on the uh, space or the place where it has been indicated. Uh, and then this is very much important. Without the report, you will fail the module. Without the supervision report, you will fail the module, meaning that you were not at school for practice. I wish you a successful academic year, my dear students, all the best. Thank you.